Hey, Liz. Hey, Nate. How are you? Yeah, yeah, fine. How are you? Oh, you know. Yourself? I saw your parents in town this morning. Oh, yeah? How are they? They said they saw you in town yesterday. What? Yeah, they said they saw you nip into the swan as they were driving past. Are you sure? I've, I've not been back in weeks. I know. That's what I said to them. Shit, shit. Right. No, nothing, nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh. Have you got anything in the post? No, no I, well, have you, uh, have you sent me something? It's not anything big, but I thought you could use some motivation to come back from again. <sighs> okay, Alice, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'll speak to you soon, yeah? I love you. I suppose you think it's acceptable to be sniffing solvents on here. The tape layer melted. Tape layer melted. Yeah. I wish I thought of that. Are you Nathan? Matters? Mathers? Why? I thought I recognized you. Well, there's a parcel here for you. I put it in internal mail. I'm just waiting for them to send the key down. Oh. All right, I, I was convinced it was just me down here. Yeah. So I do enjoy that about working here. We don't have to pretend to enjoy conversation. You single? Uh, no. In a job like this, you should be. No, I've got a girlfriend. Really? Yeah. You can't like her that much. What? You haven't left here in weeks. Uh, got to go and finish some work. job close to town. Why not try something different? What would be your ideal job? You know the answer to that. Tell me anyway. I just think, even if I did get that job, it's a responsibility I'm not used to. They'd soon see I wasn't good enough. And Anyway, you know the contract here doesn't finish for another year. Why do you keep asking that question? Okay. Right. 
Well, ask me. Why? Because I've got an interview for tomorrow. I thought we could go for breakfast at about eight just before. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, that's great. But may, maybe I could uh, see about uh, getting out of here for a bit. What? Nothing. What is it? It's just... You're so cold on the phone. We'll see you about getting out of there. I'm sorry. It's almost like when I'm not in the room with you, I don't exist. Nathan, that's not part of my life yet. He just got up and did it, you know what I mean? Nathan. Married the prettiest girl, made the most money. Shit. When he wanted to do something, he just got up and did it. Oh, uh, Alice, Alice. Alice, do, do you remember? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Finish my work. 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 You haven't left here. I thought we could go for breakfast at about eight just before. Work. Nathan. Weren't you going out? I, I was supposed to. I must have got a bit muddled. I, I think I went to sleep. Couldn't be bothered? No. It's not that at all. Your parcel. Your Abigail Sen, right? Sen's. How would you know that? I ingested one of your videos yesterday. Oh, yeah? That one. Look, I was becoming a good reporter. That was my first outside broadcast. John knew we were on air, and I got him fired. Oh? But he tried to keep a copy of the tapes for kicks. I got it back of him, and I recognize you from it. I knew there was another copy somewhere. My first outside broadcast on Elite Story. You pulling faces behind me and my lip never wobbled. Not even once. What's on the tape? Don't stress. I thought we knew about toying with people. Look, I'm sorry about that whole thing. I guess I didn't think, I didn't realize. 
Don't worry. This job seems to be punishment enough. your job. You don't need to see that. I miss you so much and you spend so much time with these tapes. I thought this would be the only way to get your attention. You have to quit and leave and you'll be broken for a few days. Stay and I'll assume you're broken forever. You have to quit, Nathan. I love you. Stop! Stop that! You can't leave! 